All right, so real quick, I'm going to go over that process of building a skyscraper again uh, and doing it relatively quickly. Uh, so again, all you're going to need is like a box, and we're just going to put this here box down. Maximize my view. Okay. So what we have to do is we really have to go in there and make sure that we have enough faces to work with, enough faces to make the windows. So I'm going to go to my modify panel, and I'm going to go ahead and give myself... 6, 6, and 5, and let's change that to 7. There we go. So this just gives me a nice, decent amount of um, faces to work with that I can make into windows. So then what I'm going to do is right-click, Convert to, Edible Poly. There we go. And then I'm going to select my polygons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at it from the front. This way I can draw a box and just select those top rows. If I draw a box all the way up here, I'll end up getting the top, which we don't want to do. Um, we just want to get the side. And if you draw it in perspective window, sometimes if you're not flat enough, you can end up getting um, more than you want. So you can do it in perspective window, obviously, just fine. Uh, and that worked just fine. OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to inset these faces. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my little ribbon. And then I'm going to shift click on inset. And then I'm going to change this to polygon. Okay, so by default it's group. And if you do group, it's going to do them all at once, which we don't want. But if I click this button, it's going to go to polygon. So now they're all individual. So I can just kind of do it just a little bit. Perfect. And then I'll hit the green check mark to lock that down. And then what I can do is do an, I can shift click extrude or click extrude. So if I click Extrude, I can just kind of push them back a little bit until I'm happy with them, uh, which that looks pretty good. Yep. Uh, and so now if I uncheck my polygons, you can see that I actually have some nice edging on there, and it actually looks like some pretty decent windows. So next I'm going to apply some materials. So I'm just going to hit M on my keyboard, which will bring up my material window. If by default this is what you're looking at, which is the Slate Material Editor, which is this one. Uh, all you have to do to change it is just click on Modes, Compact Material Editor. And what we're going to do is we're just going to assign a base color to the building. So I'm just applying this gray to the building. And then I'm going to go back and click on my polygon, which will still be that last selection I had. And then I can go back to this color, which is the second material, and I'll change it to like, let's go like a sky blue. Hit OK. And then I will assign it to the selection. So now if I unclick, I now have a gray building uh, with the actual windows colored, which I can then scale and do whatever I want to with. Right, And that's it. And that gives you a nice, very, very easy to, to repeat uh, building. And this will work with all shapes. You can do it with cylinders. You can do it with tubes. I mean, whatever kind of crazy building you want to make, you are more than able to do it.